All right. Thanks, Dr. Hedden Green, for this opportunity to um, showcase our project. We feel like we've learned a lot this semester, and we were really excited to um, show you what we learned in this bathroom fan simulator. Yeah, so we decided that uh, when we want to do a project with a simulation, we want to do something close to home. In fact, probably a simulation that happens in every home almost every single day. <laughs> and that's, you know, you, you take a nice long hot shower and you get out and you go to look at the mirror and it's completely fogged over. Or someone else is in the shower and they get out and you go in to shave or do your hair and the mirror is still completely fogged over and it takes, you know, five, ten minutes or even a hair dryer to get it on unfogged and we wanted to see what the dynamic simulation the process was of why it's fogging and put a controller on it to get rid of the fog on the mirror. Uh, so the first thing we decided to do was to simulate this bathroom in a simulate uh, block diagram uh, and there's there's many aspects to this but I want to point out uh, three main points so uh, from the material and energy balances we ended up using a state space transfer function to uh, to model this scenario. Uh, it takes inputs in from the fan, how many cubic feet per minute comes in the system, and also uh, the room temperature and the conditions of the shower, which I'll talk about um, actually right now, because in this next section in, uh, in the red box we have everything that contributes to the disturbance. Um, and it's pretty manipulative. We can, we can change, the te change the temperature uh, of the shower, but also we can change how frequently the shower turns on and off, how long it stays on, how long of a break there is in between showers, and um, we were able to model some interesting disturbance vectors from that. And then the most important part of this is outlined in the green box where uh, we have a set point tracking PID controller. Uh, and this um, the most important thing about this is that this set point tracking PID controller is able to smoothly react to changes in, s in the set point and, um, and, then, and then control the fan speed to help model our system a little better. So this is to explain the performance of our controlled system versus an underrated college dorm bathroom fan. We figured that in all of the bathrooms that we've been in and in renting throughout our college career, the fans have just been really small and wimpy, and so we modeled it as a 30 cubic feet per minute fan. It's pretty underrated. And so on these two plots here, the pink or the purple line represents the college bathroom fan staying just staying on all the time. And you can see in the top plot the relative humidity. We figured anything above 90% relative humidity in the room would fog the mirror because the mirror is a little bit colder than the rest of the room. So anything above the red line is fogged. And so college dorm uh, bathrooms would fog. When we implemented our PIE set point tracking PID controller, it was able to maintain a, a relative humidity under that, and so our bathroom fan or our, our bathroom mirror didn't fog. So to test the robustness of our um, of our PID controller, we considered two different scenarios. The first one is the Sunday morning rush, characterized by a dorm full of college kids who all wake up 30 minutes before church starts and realize that they all have to shower in that time. So this is about a five, to, uh, about a 10 minute shower with a five to seven minute interim in between each one. So as you can see, the, the fan speed never goes to maximum, which is 80, and that's desirable because it doesn't um, ruin the fan fast. And then also it keeps the relative humidity well below 90% 90, 90 of degrees. And then this one is the personal sauna situation, which is um, inspired by Blake falling asleep in the shower and ending up taking a 60-minute shower. So um, this one also, as we can see, the relative humidity still never um, reaches 90%, and also the fan speed still stays below max and fluctuates, which is good for the um, lifetime of the fan. Uh, so the main conclusions that we wanted uh, we got through in this project is we were able to build a robust simulate model that uh, was able to model both the disturbance as well and create a and also create a PID function that, a PID that functions more effectively than the non PID uh, and overall the biggest result is that it's able we're able to maintain a relative humidity low enough in multiple situations to keep the mirror from fogging.